So in this video, we're going to learn about how to save and retrieve values from shared preferences. When you store a value using the shared preferences object, you can read and edit this value from anywhere else in the application. I've created a small example to show you exactly how this works. I've created two activities, the first one being called the main activity and the second one main to activity. This first text view will be used to display the shared preferences value that we'll be playing around with. This increment button will be used to increment the shared preferences value by one. When we go to the second activity using this button, you will see that the shared preferences value is indeed the same as what it was in the previous activity. In the second activity, instead of incrementing the value, we have a button to decrement it. So that was the example. Now let's see the code part of it. After declaring and initializing the three views, we'll be creating an object for the shared preferences class. This object can be used to read and edit the value that we'll be using throughout this application. Shared preferences prefs is equal to main activity dot this dot get shared preferences and the two parameters that we'll be passing is keys dot prefs key and context dot mode private. The first parameter in our case keys dot prefs key is actually a string which is used to denote the shared preferences file that we are referring to. Instead of hard coding the string over here, I've declared it in another class called keys. The second parameter is the mode in which we'll be using the shared preferences object. In our case, we'll be only using it within our application, which means mode private will suffice. Now using the prefs object that we just created, we're going to get the value from the shared preferences. We can store values of different data types in shared preferences like int, boolean, float, long or even string. In our case, we are storing and retrieving an integer, which is why we are using a method called getInt. GetInt takes two parameters, the first being a string and the second being an integer. The first parameter is basically the key of the shared, shared preferences value and the second parameter is the value itself. You must be wondering how we're getting a shared preferences value even before setting it. This is where the second parameter comes in. When we try to get a shared preferences variable even before it is set, it will create a new shared preferences variable with the key as the parameter name and the second parameter that we pass in as its value. In this case, a new variable called count will be created and its value will be set to zero. We're retrieving this value and storing it in an integer called count. This line updates the text view with the value that we just retrieved. On clicking the increment button, we are going to first get the value from the shared preferences, increment it by 1 and then put it back. We already know how to get the value from shared preferences, now we are going to learn how to edit and update the value. We are going to be using the prefs object again. So prefs.edit.putInt, the first parameter being the key of the value the second parameter being the value that you want to update it with and don't forget to call the apply function. We have another button that basically replaces the first activity with the second activity. The second activity has a very similar layout to the first activity except instead of the increment button we now have a decrement button which basically decrements the value of the shared preferences and updates it. Let's run the app and see it in action. As you can see, every time I click the increment button, the shared preferences value increases by 1. Let's go to the second activity now. As you can see, the value over here is the same as where we left off in the first activity. This is the power of shared preferences. You can create and edit values from anywhere in the application. And these values will remain the same even after the user closes the application. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe for more on point videos just like this one.